roots. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out on the Warrenora River. It's blowing an absolute gale. We've got a strong southwesterly today. So I'm going to show you what I like to do if I have the time when the wind's blowing and it's too hard to go offshore. It's too hard to fish in the rivers when it's, the drifts are too quick because the wind's way up and all that sort of stuff. We can hide out of the wind on a bad day, on a bad weather day and still absolutely smash a fish. So we're going to head up and down the Warrenora River, fish the tide. We've got a beautiful incoming tide this morning low tide was about 3 a.m this morning and then it's going to be high at about 10 o'clock so i'm going to head all the way up to the back end of the system chasing estuary perch flathead brim all our normal river species and then come all the way back out to the back end of the run out tide so yeah let's go take along for the ride Fish on first of the morning little chilly <laughs> Come here, little man. Come here, little man. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice little dewy to start the morning. Look at this beautiful little soapy. He's only about 45 centimeters, so he's nowhere near legal, but beautiful little dewy. Happy with that. They're so cool. They're such a cool fish, man. Let's get him back in the water. He smacked a little bait junkie, two and a half inch like grub style. Pinned perfectly in the corner of the mouth. We've got quite a bit of tidy, but uh, yeah, let's get him back. Here, yeah, buddy. So I don't know if you guys can see, but up here on the right, we've got a big sand flat, okay? the channel runs out to the left and then follows all the way out to that gap that you see way further up but all across the right hand side of this screen here is sand flat <clears throat> and of course we've got a big running tide at the moment so i want to fish the back side of this sand flat all that bait's going to be rushing across it's quite a strong tide today all the bait's just going to be rushing across there and I'm, they're sitting in this little deep hole here and hopefully we can get a few more hey. I got a bite on my first cast, I wasn't really ready or set up. I was doing a few things with the rods and rails, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so cool. Kind of a little hot spot here. I'm just gonna go see what that little blow up was on the left here. Take that every day. Alright, 35 centimetre whiting. Beautiful fish for the morning. I'm gonna quickly release this guy. I'm not looking after looking for a feed today. I've got plenty in the freezer at the moment, so yeah, I'm gonna release most of the fish that I catch today. See you buddy. Whew. That's a mixed bag so far. Whiting. And then a uh, nice little uh, dewy as well. So, yeah, having a bit of fun here this morning. First cast back on the plastic. That's a nice flathead. That's a really good flathead. That's a nice little flag. 
That's a good plan. Whew. All right, little 48 centimeter dusky flathead. I was using the hard body there for a while, casting at wolves and stuff and not really getting much luck. And I was like, you know what? I fish so much better as a soft plastic fisherman than I do as a hard body fisherman. So go straight back to the soft plastic, first cast, bang, 48 flathead. Um, still the chasing that estuary perch through the wani here, but also very happy with that. Let's put him back. See you, buddy. Whew. There we go. First cast with the plastic again. I've been absolutely whacking them on the plastic further up and down here as well. There's just a little bust up right there, so I'm gonna quickly get into it. Little flatty. See buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <Smacked>. <laughs> that was nutty. See buddy. That was fun. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out on the Port Hacking River around about 10 o'clock. We've got a midday high tide, so the plan is to see if I can catch a massive flathead in the shallows at this time. So it's springtime, big flathead like to get up in the shallows during that high tide and sort of sun themselves, heat themselves up, ready for summer to absolutely go ballistic and eat pretty much anything and everything you can throw at them. So the plan is Hopefully the visibility is good. I can get the drone up, see if we can get some footage of me maybe catching one, a big one off the drone. Um, if not, we're just gonna prospect, use electric motor, creep up in the shallows, use bigger lures to target those bigger flooded. So let's go and do that, hey? First salmon of the day. I'm gonna go to the sh shallows for a flooded soon, but I thought I'd just come up here and see if the salmon were around. Lo and behold. Oh. Oh. That's a bad net shot. Come here. Beautiful chunk of the salmon absolutely engulfed that lure. It's right down the color there. 65 centimeter one you can't see i've got the dogs in here so they are absolutely wanting this fish so i'm going to quickly deal with him put him away and uh yeah keep fishing so cool on surface too oh. <laughs> i chased it all the way oh. This is just too much fun. Up you get, and down. Oh, this is good fun, man. One to two kilo dial with a Gallus 702 ULFS, made for brim and small flathead. <laughs> and I'm catching big salmon on it. Reason why I'm using this, people might think I'm just nuts. I kind of am nuts, I agree, um, but it's more because I'm using such a small lure and I need to be able to flick it far. So what I'm doing is I'm going upwind, we've got an easterly wind so it's going from left to right of camera as you guys look at it. There's salmon off all around the boat, 
and all I'm doing is casting with the wind to get as far cast as I can and then just working the surface walker all the way back. There we go. Oh, Jesus, that's another big one. Max, watch out. About 60, 65 centimeter toad of a salmon. Smack that surface walker. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely loving it. So cool. Yo! smaller model but fought just as hard smack that surface walker perfect fish perfect salmon there we go that was a six foot jump Look at that, singing, singing. Oh. oh God, there's not one in come in. There we go. Woo. Oh God. A nice little shallow walk I made for broom and flooded. I put some strong singles on them and bang, another absolute stonker of a salmon. So much fun. So good. So we're out on the flats here at Main Bar. Gonna try and go as far away from where normal people would be walking, doing pumping, all that sort of stuff, and find the quietest pockets that I can to try and fish. So I can't get the drone up. The wind's probably too much for the drone and the visibility wouldn't be as good either. So I'm just gonna prospect. I've got a big lure on. That's a seven inch with a one, one sixth ounce head. So light head, big lure, see if we can't get a decent sized flatty, hey? Fish. <laughs> what? You thought... <laughs> yeah. Definitely not the aim that I'm looking for, is a small little pinky, but... Certainly woke me up. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed that episode. A mixture of two different sessions that I had, one at the Warrenora River and one here on the Hacking. Only I had a couple of hours for both of those systems over the last couple of days, and it's been just so much fun. I just missed a, probably a flathead on the shallows here. Battery was dead, so you guys wouldn't have seen anything like that. Just got a little hit um, and missed it. So but that's all right. Plenty of salmon about. There's plenty of fish about in the rivers and offshore at the moment so make sure you get out there and give it a go don't forget go to seven seas apparel get yourself 10 percent off use code lunatics 10 to get yourself 10 percent off and tackleclub.com.au get yourself 10 percent off your first month with tackle club again my recommendation for this month would be the saltwater estuary because the estuaries are really starting to fire up and they've got some great lures to come in the october month for all of you guys to use so hope you all enjoyed it Leave a thumbs up if you'd subscribe, 
we're almost at a thousand we've got about 10 15 to go so make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace out Thank you.